Yo guys, T Calisthenics back with another video. And today, tonight, whatever time it is, wherever you are around the world, we're gonna be learning how to do Aztec push-ups. Now, some of you that are beginners may be wondering what Aztec push-ups are, unless you typed it in to search for this video. Um, but it's a variation that you may see in some uh, kind of like explosive workout videos, things like that, but it's not something you often see in a workout routine. Uh, the reason for that is that it looks really cool, and yeah, it's an explosive exercise, and obviously it's going to work your muscles, but if you're trying to go for like a chest um, workout, it's not actually the best in terms of actually getting a good contraction and really, you know, working the muscle effectively. It's just a cool kind of explosive exercise that, yes, does require some strength, but it's not ideal for workouts, I don't think, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway because it is fun. It's always cool to, you know, do loads of cool variations one after the other and do like a kind of freestyle push-up thing. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah. What an aesthetic push-up is, is basically when you do a push-up, you touch your toes and you land back down. So you'll understand what I mean when I show you shortly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some variations that you can do um, to build up to this safely without landing on your face. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So before I show you the variations that you can do in order to kind of gradually build your way up to the Aztec push-up, I'm obviously going to show you what it looks like. So you're going to get the push-up position, obviously. Uh, for Aztec push-ups, I like to space my feet out just a little bit more um, because you have to touch them with your hands. So if they're aligned with your hands, it makes the job a little bit easier. And uh, when you're doing it, you want to try and keep your legs straight or as straight as possible. Uh, I've actually never filmed myself doing this before, so I don't know how straight my legs are, but yeah, try to keep your legs straight when you're doing this, and this is what it's going to look like. Aztec push-ups. So the first thing you want to be able to do for progressing into your Aztec push-ups is you want to make sure that you can do clap push-ups or explosive push-ups. And you want to be able to do a good number of them just to make sure that you have enough, you know, explosive strength to lift your way all the way up and touch your feet. Because your whole body is coming off the floor, essentially. So, by explosive push-ups, I just mean any push-up variation where you come off the ground like that. So, you want to be able to do at least 10 of those. And now, I'm going to move on to the next variation that you need to do after this one. So once you can do at least 10 explosive push-up variations with good clean form and making sure that you're exploding using your muscles in your chest and your triceps, what you want to do next is you're going to do knee tap push-ups. So in this push-up variation, your whole body is actually going to be coming off the floor and it's going to look like this. So the reason we're doing this is that we're getting ourselves more explosive strength and we're also getting used to putting our hands kind of lower down because eventually we're going to have to have them all the way at our feet so it just kind of gets you used to that and it's kind of the mid ground between your clap push-ups and your Aztec push-ups. So once you can do a few reps of your knee tap push-ups, nice and clean making sure that you have well enough time to land on the ground to not last minute just grabbing you and make sure you're comfortable with it and that you're really exploding high enough before you move on to this variation where we're going to get really used to um, pulling our feet up to or, or pulling our hands up to our feet so it's going to look like this so it looks like that um, my feet are kind of sliding around on the ground as you may have noticed but um, yeah, find a surface where your feet don't slide around, ideally, um, and do that variation. So that'll kind of get you used to pulling your hands towards your feet, and you're gonna combine that with your knee tap um, push-ups to then eventually do your Aztec push-ups. So you wanna be really comfortable with your knee tap push-ups and these, this variation, I don't know what it's called, uh, we'll just call it toe touch push-ups, and uh, then, once you're comfortable with those, like I said, you can move on to your Aztec push-ups. So you saw what an Aztec push-up looks like at the start of the video. Now I'm just going to kind of break it down a little bit more so you understand 
how to do it after learning how to do your knee tap and your toe touch push ups. So, your Aztec push up, you're really going to be um, when you push up, you're going to pull your legs forward and your hands down. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to touch your, uh, your toes like this while you're in the air but keeping your legs straight. So you're trying not to do it like with your legs bent, but at the start you may have your legs bent a little bit. Don't worry about it, you can perfect that afterwards. And if it means that you're not going to land on your face, then just take your time with it. It does take time to learn. Uh, don't worry about that. But ideally at the end, it should look like this with your legs nice and straight. Like that. So, once again, when you're practicing this, make sure you have a padded surface or something, or do it on the grass, just in case. I mean, I'm sure nothing bad would ever happen, really. You might bang your face on the ground a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, you have to learn somehow. So yeah, make sure you do it safe, on the grass, with a mat. Just do what you have to do. And um, if you do the variations that I showed you, you shouldn't have any problems anyway. Just make sure that you, you're confident with your strength and you're confident with your ability to uh, progress to the next level. So, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it did help, please leave a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe for more, lots more coming. If you want to check out my social media, links I have my Instagram and Facebook in the description below. Until next time guys, stay strong, peace out.